the Galaxy Z Flip 7, now with Samsung DeX. Let's show you how to use it. Let's go. Over the last couple of years, I've been making videos about the Flip, wondering why there's no DeX. Last year, we got close. There was some secret developer options and it had some sort of like hidden DeX mode, but it wasn't very good. Now, with the Z Flip 7, and surprisingly, the Exynos 2500, it's running fully fledged DeX. So let's show you every way you can use it so you can get excited about the Z Flip 7 having Samsung DeX. So a lot of people immediately thought that it was only wireless support. And pretty quickly that was debunked, but the wired support with DeX is phenomenal. So you can actually just plug it in with the phone closed and it will launch DeX straight onto your monitor. This is so convenient because you won't need to unfold the phone anytime you want to use DeX. You simply just have to plug it in, phone's closed, DeX will start working. Is that the end of the story though? No. Samsung, quite frustratingly, haven't allowed you to use the cover screen as a touchpad. Hopefully this changes because it's such a big area now that it actually would make the perfect trackpad so you wouldn't need to always carry with you a mouse. You can just use the front of the screen. Please make that happen, Samsung. When you go into the quick panel, it's just nowhere to be seen. Even in the notification area, there's no option to use the screen as a touchpad. For this, you have to unfold your Galaxy Z Flip 7, and then you can use the inner display as that touchpad. It's quite handy with flex mode, where you can have it half propped up and the touchpad area to control down the bottom, but I really think it should be on the front just my opinion. But if you've got a keyboard and a mouse that you've paired, I've got the MX Master 3S and a Samsung Keyboard Trio, this would actually be quite convenient because then you wouldn't even need to unfold the phone to co coordinate and control decks. You can just plug it straight in with the phone closed and the keyboard and mouse can take over for you to utilize on the big monitor that you plugged into. As far as performance goes, yeah, well, it's fantastic. Samsung DeX operates pretty much flawlessly. And when you go into the connected devices settings, you'll actually see the sort of resolution that you can output at up to 4K, which is awesome. Having a 4K DeX environment out of the Flip 7. There's a lot of other toggles and stuff you can control in here. You can position where the Flip is in relation to the device that you're plugged into. So if you want to flow the mouse pointer between the two devices, you can just let the settings know where the phone is, and then the mouse can sort of flow between them. I tried to flow the mouse between the cover screen and the monitor, but again, they haven't allowed that interaction to take place. So you can't control the cover screen with the mouse. However, what I did find out is if you switch it to mirrored mode from DeX mode, it will actually mirror the cover screen. <laughs> cover screen is mirrored. That's wild. What exactly? Ah, I could do everything. No way. And then you can control the cover screen with the mouse which is quite cool, but also quite pointless. You do have to open the phone back up to switch to DeX mode, but it's right there, wired DeX, and it just takes you straight back to DeX. What I really like about the flip with Samsung DeX is the fact that you can got that flex mode. So you can have content sort of propped up, sort of angled at you whilst you're working on the big monitor. And the big monitor has all the room and the space with Samsung DeX to stretch out in, and then you've got the content that you interact with down below. And then, well, the light just changed outside. And then because you've got the mouse that can flow between the two, you can control the flip screen with the mouse. So you realistically might not ever have to touch the phone. You can just flow back and forth between the two and you've got a really nice compact productivity environment to work with. This kind of opens up the flip to a whole new sort of workflow. If you've got one of those lap docs, like I've got the Uperfect one, I'll leave a link to it in the description, you can chuck this and plug it into it. And then this is like your most portable deck solution ever. This is so compact in your pocket or in a bag and the lap dock just sort of comes with you. And then you plug this in and you've got a really little portable deck solution and powerful because it runs really well. What I forgot to mention too, was the fact that I can send things to the flip display. So I've got here this button send to other display with one UI eight meaning that I can actually send things across here. And then I can interact with it, again, using the mouse and keyboard. And because it's in this flex mode state, I've kind of got it angled towards me, whatever it is I want to look at. And then when I'm ready for it to go back the other way, 
I just go and open it up in a pop-up view and go to send to other display. And then bang, I've got it back here on the laptop screen with the DeX interface. And then I've got it like this, love this. But if cables aren't your thing, of course you've got the wireless DeX solution. And the wireless DeX solution, you can just scroll down from the notifications and the quick panel and just hit wireless DeX. It will populate all of the monitors and the devices around you that wireless DeX can connect to. And then you just select the one you want and cast it over to the screen. It suffers from a very similar fate to wired DeX in that you can't flow the mouse or control it from the cover screen. So the cover screen, again, kind of pointless. You do need to have it open to control the mouse with the touchpad on the inside. But if you've got that keyboard and mouse Bluetooth solution hooked up, then you can still leave it closed. And then you've got wire-free Samsung DeX running on a monitor. It's not as smooth as you would hope. It's maybe a little bit janky. But this is where I would position wireless decks as not necessarily a productivity solution, but more an entertainment one. So if you wanted to launch content and cast that to the TV or the monitor, you've got that option here. And it's done wirelessly. Because it doesn't just have to be a monitor. If you've got a TV, whether you're at a hotel or just one in your house, you can cast wireless decks to that TV and launch content on there. It's a really practical solution. And again, because of this compact form factor, you're getting a really powerful tool in your pocket. Really, there's no surprises. Samsung DeX operates as Samsung DeX does. I would love for Samsung to incorporate that cover screen a bit more into DeX and even chuck in the quick panel the option to launch DeX directly from there. It's a good start though. Having DeX on the Flip 7 at all is exactly the right move. I'll be very curious to know whether this goes back to Flip 6 via One UI 8 with the software, because ultimately that's still powerful enough to run it. A Snapdragon 8 Gen 3 for Galaxy, plus the 4000 mAh battery, and it's even a thicker body than what the Flip 7 is, should give it enough room and enough headspace to operate quite well. Even if the older Flips just get wireless decks, just for that ability to cast it to another monitor. Wide decks is great though, honestly. Something so fun about seeing something so compact, just plug this in and DeX launches. There's something wild about that. I don't know why. I guess I'm so used to seeing it run on just normal smartphones. Like That's my S25 Ultra plugged in to the monitor there to run Samsung DeX. So I guess I'm just used to seeing a phone of that size and that stature with DeX running on it. I'm not so used to DeX running on something like this. Something so compact, something so small but it does, and it's exciting. If you are happy about Samsung DeX running on the Z Flip 7, let me know. Let me know if you have been using it already, the changes Samsung could make. My wish list is enable the cover screen to launch DeX wirelessly, but also enable it for the touchpad, because I think that would just turn this into, in my opinion, maybe the best DeX phone ever. Big call. Hit subscribe to Tech With Benefits for all the content on Samsung devices. This is the place for everything that you want to know. And I'll see you guys in the next one. You.